everybody. It's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas. It's use leftover paint day here at Dandy Art Gallery. My base coat is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And then this other color is the Amsterdam Grayish Blue, which I really, really like that color. My paints are very thin today. Um, I'm going to just do a puddle and uh, use cloud mix and my inspiration again comes from Sarah Taylor. I'm not going to go over all my paints right now but as I lay them down I'll go over the ones that I remember the colors of. So first of all I'm just going to give this a quick torch because I do see quite a few air bubbles here. Again if you get a chance check out Sarah Taylor's channel. She uses thin paints and that's what I'm using today. Very thin down with water. And my first one is called The Mysterious. And if you've watched some of my other videos, you'll know that uh, I make this up with four different colored paints. Very pretty color. And this dark color is Amsterdam, their expert line, and it's called Indigo. Very, very dark, dark, dark blue. Pretty, pretty color. And this lighter purple color, I believe, is Amsterdam Ultramarine Violet. This dark purple is Liquitex Basics Diaxazine Purple. My last color is um, the, I'll actually show you the bottle. It's Folk Art Dragonfly Glaze. And this just leaves a really, really pretty sheen on top of the paints that you put it on top of. And I will list all these colors in the description. All my pouring mediums. I think I will put a little bit more of this mysterious on top here. Okay. And now I'm just, uh, I'll add a little bit more of the white here, just to help the paint move. I'm going to do some tipping on it. Okay, that should be good. Let's just do a little tipping here now, back and forth. See what we get. Very, very pretty colors. And I hope that you can see most of that shine on those paints. Okay, just taking some of the paint off from underneath my canvas here. And I think I will add more white paint here. And I'm just going to do a little bit more tipping here.
Okay, pretty happy with that. And now I'm just going to take some of my cloud mix colors. My first one I have is Liquitex Basics, Co they're just their cobalt blue. Just going to run it up in here. Just give the eye a little extra something to look at. Just using a pop, also a popsicle stick to do that. Maybe one more of this color. Okay. The next color I'm going to use is the Amsterdam grayish blue. Now what I've done with these colors that I'm using as my cloud mix, I added just a little dab of the um, Australian Floetrol two of them. Just going to make this line a little thicker here. And also add some in this area. And the last color I have is Modern Masters Rose Quartz. Very pretty little color here. Pink. Very pretty pink. Again, I'm just going to run it, run it through my painting here. And I will make it a little thicker here. Just a couple more lines here.
and I might add a, just a few little dots here also. Just to give the eye a little something to look at. And I think I will tip just a little bit and then give it a torch to see what I have here. Just to incorporate those lines a little better. Okay. I'm going to give it a torch now. Okay, I'm just going to play a little bit more with adding some colors here. I'm going to take my dark indigo. Just thread it through there. I'm just going to break up a few of these lines. Okay, I think I'll give it a torch and bring you in down for a close-up.
Okay, everybody, before I bring you down for a close-up, I wanted to show you what I've been uh, working on off camera. What I did is I took my little straw and I blew out some of these lines to give them more character. And I'm going to just do a few for you before I bring you down for a close-up. You can see where I really did it in this area. So let me try it in here. You can see where it just gives the eye more to look at and it just gives a lot more um, definition and complexity to this painting. So I'm going to continue to do that off camera and when I bring you down for a close up, I'll show you all the areas I did it to. Okay, be back in a minute. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna get you down now for the close up. Again, this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas that I'm using up some paints today, doing a puddle pour with cloud over mix. And I used my skewer and my palette knife and a straw to blow things out. So this is the upper left-hand corner. You can just see the shimmer and that's from that dragonfly glaze. Just coming down the left-hand side here. There's some of the little um, dots that I did add with the cloud mix. And this is the lower left-hand corner. And then here is some of those straight lines that I blew out with my straw. You just see the effect that that gave those lines. And again, you can really see the shimmer in here. And we'll take it down the middle. Very interesting parts in this painting. And we'll take it down to the lower right hand corner. And up the right hand side. Again, I blew out some of the paint in this area in this area and this is the upper right hand corner real pretty in that area so let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it please share it ring the bell choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video subscribe if you haven't that would be great Make sure you leave a comment if you'd like, or if you have any questions, I'm always open to answering questions. So until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.